Hello friends and today is a new topic which is related to a shifting. We have studied the time shifting properties in signals also. Here we are going to prove this time shifting property using a Laplace transform. So our topic is time shifting property using Laplace transform. <music> will study this statement what is it if a laplace transform of x of t is x of s then if we add a delay like it can be plus a or minus a then the resultant is directly e to the power plus or minus a s into x of s this is the statement that we are going to prove first of all one thing that you should know as we have if we place plus inside this bracket then at the end e to the power you should have plus a s if we place minus sign in between time and integer value or delay then you will get a minus sign in the power of a so that's why i have written a note laplace transform of x of t plus a what you will get e to the power plus a s that is order of exponential is positive if the delayed is positive similarly if the delay is negative then the power of exponential is also a negative so let's prove this part so that you can understand how to solve a time shifting property of laplace transform let's see so we'll study the proof by definition of Laplace transform, what you can say? X of t we can solve using Laplace transform which is and it is represented by x of s. The definition is uh, x of s is nothing but the Laplace transform of time signal x of t and it is nothing but integration over the range of minus infinity to infinity x of t into e to the power minus s t dt which means this integration is totally depends on time t. We will substitute our x of t value which is x of t plus or minus a. So after substituting you have this equation infinity to infinity which is the integration limit x of t plus or minus a which is my input right now and this part which is multiplied with this new input. Much more important part is this x must have a single simple variable in this bracket. Right now we have a variable with some integer value. So we need to substitute some value so that you will get some variable inside this bracket. So my substitution is t plus t minus or plus a. I have substituted a capital T. This capital T is the dummy character. Now just move this plus or minus a on the left right hand side. If I shift this to a right hand side then plus sign changes to minus or if we have minus then it is changes to plus a. Now perform a differentiation on both these ends. We know that the differentiation of variable is right now here we have a variable t so differentiation is dt here we have variable t capital t so differentiation also capital t but this a is the integer value or a constant value the a differentiation of constant is always zero so that's why i have not written here a integration of a now we will substitute the limits of t if i substitute infinity over here then t plus a value will also have infinite result similarly if we substitute minus infinity over here then t plus will also have a minus infinity if we move this minus or plus infinity on the right hand side the t value will remain unchanged means what the t value is now the upper limit is infinity and lower limit is minus infinity i'll substitute all this part in equation number two which means this t plus or minus a is replaced by capital c so we will write capital t over here this t is replaced by t plus or minus a so here also this t is replaced by t minus or plus a this dt is replaced by capital dt and this integration remain as it is now after substitution what will be the result let's see so just after substituting equation 2 in equation main equation you have this result 
Now I'm going to separate this order of exponential part. After se separating, what you will get? e to the power minus st. This minus is moved inside. So all this value will change. This minus minus will become plus and this plus becomes minus. So sign will be reverse for a and this s is also multiplied with this part. Now we have e to the power minus st into e to the power minus plus or minus as with respect to dt. Now I can say that this whole integration depends on capital T. So this part is constant. I'll take it outside. What you have? Integration of xt e to the power minus st dt. Now as I told you, this t is a demi character. You can write here small t also. If I write here small t, then your equation will be x of t over the integration minus infinity infinity into e to the power minus st dt and this is nothing but the definition of Laplace transform. So according to definition Laplace transform, we can write this part as a x of s. So likewise, you can prove this time shifting property. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further videos. Thank you so much.